friend thinks she is entitled to know everything about my life, kicks me out over new boyfriend. A little over a year ago, circumstances led me to share a living space with a friend who will call L. She graciously offered me a room when financial constraints made it challenging for me to secure a place of my own. Reflecting on that period, I feel compelled to recount some truly perplexing stories because, seriously, what the actual fuck? During my tenure there, I entered a new romantic relationship. However, L, who had shown a peculiar interest in my love life post a breakup with my ex, remained uninformed about my newfound connection. Our peculiar episode unfolded during a shopping trip where I sought her opinion on sunglasses for my new boyfriend. Instead of a casual shopping excursion, she launched into a bizarre rant, claiming she couldn't provide assistance without visualizing his appearance and dramatically stormed out of the store. Fast forward three months, and my boyfriend surprised me with flowers in the mail. Elle, seemingly uninterested in the flowers themselves, displayed visible agitation over my receipt of them. Despite my deliberate silence about my dating life, she managed to uncover my boyfriend's identity through Instagram stalking. Enraged, she confronted me, demanding an explanation for not disclosing details about him, and insisted I spill the beans or find alternative accommodation. Needless to say, I packed my belongings and left a few hours later. While this particular incident might not directly align with the title, it's just one example of Elle's pattern of entitled and spoiled behavior. On another occasion, I overheard her airing grievances to her mom about her birthday gift from her older brother, concert tickets, and a weekend stay in his city flat. She deemed it improper and inappropriate, a sentiment surprisingly echoed by her mother. Encountering someone as entitled and self-centered as Elle proved to be truly mind-boggling. Excuse my English, it's not my first language. The twists and turns of living with Elle seemed never-ending, like a roller coaster of absurdity that left me questioning the sanity of it all. As I navigated the roller coaster of living with Elle, the twists and turns of absurdity seemed never-ending, leaving me continually questioning the sanity of it all. On one occasion, Elle invited me to join her and a few friends for a weekend getaway. Little did I know that this seemingly innocent excursion would turn into another chapter of Lael's peculiar world. During the trip, she became fixated on the idea of a spontaneous road trip to a neighboring city, despite our initial plans. When I expressed reservations due to the lack of preparation and the impracticality of such a last-minute endeavor, she erupted into an unexpected tantrum, insisting that I was trying to ruin the trip. The atmosphere grew tense, and what was supposed to be a fun getaway morphed into an uncomfortable escapade of Lel's unpredictable whims. Her weird behavior went into her interest in my current boyfriend, even though she used to not like my ex. She started asking a lot about him, like, way too much. It got to a point where I felt like she was all up in my space, and I couldn't understand why she was so obsessed. Then, she threw a surprise party at our place. I had no clue and it turned our usually quiet apartment into a crazy mess. When I told her I wasn't cool with it, she just brushed it off, saying I needed to chill. It felt like she didn't care about what I thought at all. But the last straw was when she decided to redo our whole apartment without even talking to me about it. Normally you'd discuss that stuff with your roommate, right? Not her. She just did whatever she wanted, ignoring what I liked. It was like she thought her ideas were the only ones that mattered. Eventually, I reached my limit. The roller coaster ride with Elle had become more than I could endure, and I decided it was time to reclaim my sanity. I sought alternative living arrangements, bidding farewell to the unpredictable whirlwind that was my time with Elle. Subscribe.